People ask me all the time how to cut butternut squash because it's really kind of hard to cut and it's dangerous. So I'm gonna show you the easy, safe way to do this. I'm gonna use the Cook's knife. You could also use a double serrated knife or you could use a Santoku, whatever's most comfortable for you. I like the Cook's knife. First, we're gonna start with the top and take that top off. We're gonna spin it and do the same thing, take the bottom off. Now you can see that there's different sizes here. So we want our sizes to be more uniform. So I'm actually gonna cut the neck off right here. I'm gonna stand both of these pieces up. Now when I stand them up like this, I'm able to trim them from top to bottom, taking the skin off as I go. Some people like to use a peeler to do this part. I find a peeler a lot of times it's hard to do. I still like using the cook's knife. So this is ready to dice or to turn into sticks. So the bottom part, we're just gonna follow the contour of the squash, work it from top to bottom. Now you'll see I'm using the pinch grip, very important. If I had my finger up here, the knife will have a tendency to fall. That's when it gets dangerous. When you're using a pinch grip, you're choked up on the blade and the knife becomes an extension of your hand. Now from here, I can cut this in half de-seed it, then I can decide whether I want to use, you know, roast it half or I could break it down farther into chunks and roast it that way. Now an acorn squash, it's really the same procedure. You're going to take the bottom off, you're going to take the top off, you're going to stand it up, you're going to skin the whole squash, then from there cut it in half, de-seed it. Now that way you can either roast them in half shells and you can put your brown sugar and whatever ingredients you like in there or you can break it down all the way into cubes and roast it that way. Now that's the easy, safe way to do butternut and acorn squash.